Okay, today we're going to cover antics, uh, the browser, a little bit with the politics, and configuring. First, we'll install and look at the browsers. Then we will, uh, so this will be a long video, mostly centered around the browsers. Okay, so you know the Firefox goes to the Antics Forum. And the version of uh, this is the Extended Support Release, the ESR. And it is maintained um, by the package manager, Antics Linux 21. Okay, so this is the default browser in the system. Now, if you go look at the package installer, which is down here, and I don't know where else to find the package installer, um, let's install some of the other browsers. Now, if you look under Applications Internet, um, we see the Firefox ESR listed there, but nothing else. Eventually, I want to learn to edit that search bar. Okay, so let's install some more browsers first. Um, let's see. Oh, it looks like they have Google Chrome. Actually, that is all I would need for an up-to-date browser. If uh, Now, I certainly do not like um, all the tracking and stuff. But if I have to do something on the la on the latest browser, uh, Google Chrome may be wise to have. But you know what? For now, let's let's go with Chromium and install that. The problem with ungoogled Chromium is I'm not sure how to install the extensions. I think that's a problem. Although I like the idea of ungoogling. Chromium getting rid of the location services and stuff. But let's install Chromium. It's a little bit better than, um, than uh, straight Google. Although I wonder if we can have both Chromium. Uh, yes. So, and what I'll do, we'll look at it. Now, I don't want to exit the package installer. So now let's look. Do we get Chromium listed under the applications? Internet. There's Chromium. And uh, let's see what version this is. Uh, current Chromium version. Chromium 98 in 2022. This is version 99, so I'd imagine, oh, I'd imagine this would be current. Now on the on this browser, if I go to YouTube, let's just search something like Walk up to me and uh, that language is no good, but we have we have audio there. Um, if we go to YouTube here, ah, that has sound as well. Nice. Okay, that will that will really work. 
I don't know why I had such a problem before. I do appreciate the um, admins at the Antics Forum. They were very patient with me. I will study what they said, though. Uh, let's see if we can install any others. Let's see if we can install Brave. Let's do that. Brave has its own search engine, which is nice. So let's see applications. So actually, I'm not setting them as the default. Okay. Uh, Firefox, Chromium, and Brave is really adequate. Um, see if Vivaldi installs. Nice. Okay, everything seems to be working good now. I will mess around in their default browser, Firefox, after this. Now, what happened? It didn't ask me yes or no, did it? There's Vivaldi down there. Nice. Very nice. Very good. They all install. Um, very satisfied with that. Okay. So the next item here is to look at their Firefox browser. You see we can install uh, the browsers. I do notice that uh, they ask about cookies. So everything's automatically disabled here except for whatever they claim is necessary. So I'll accept that. Let's, first of all, um, in the library, under the bookmarks, go to bookmarking tools, and let's add the bookmarks toolbar. Now, something is being hidden from here. You see all these extra things here. So let's show all bookmarks. And see the bookmarks toolbar. So let's take Anti Capitalista, put that on the toolbar, and the Antix Linux, put that on the toolbar. Mm, let's move this down. I'm not really interested in that. And actually, let's add some of our, uh, let's first, when you have it up here like this, if you right click and do open all in tabs, it'll open all of these anti-capitalista ones. Um, Anti-racismfascism.org. Uh, it's in Greek. Most likely we would have to translate the page. I am against racism and I am against fascism. Um, on the other hand, I am concerned about violence that's very similar to Nazi brown shirts on the part of Antifa. And the mislabeling of people as fascists that are not fascists. So that is an issue, but um, antiracismfascism.org looks a little interesting. Democracynow.org, that's a radical left 
organization that's as radical as radical right organizations. Uh, I do support uh, the freedom of Julian Assange, by the way, and I am against Russia invading Ukraine. Counterpunch.org. Uh, I don't know much about it, but I did not ask for that to be put in here. Newleftreview.org. Not familiar with it. Again, I didn't request that. Monthlyreview.org. Why socialism? Uh... So let's see. So an independent socialist magazine. Unfortunately, uh, we could talk about that, but Marx, Marxist.org. So Marxism, from what I can tell, resulted in Russia and China, and those are virtually dictatorships, almost as bad as power being concentrated through money in a capitalist situation, uh, like monopolies in capitalism is an issue. So both extremes are problematic and lead to the concentration of power and essentially autocratic dictatorships, whether you push too far through fascism or too far through uh, into Marxism um, there uh, and uh, communism, uh, you know, uh, there those are issues. You see how Russia has concentrated power, and in spite of maybe people in Russia not wanting war, they're in Ukraine, and how China moved into Hong Kong and is threatening Taiwan. Uh, so these are no good. Noam Komsky, uh, info. So Noam Komsky is an interesting person. Radical philosophy. For that, that says it, doesn't it? There's radicals both to the left and to the right that are problematic. Jacobinmag.com. See, capitalists are escalating their shakedown of American workers. So economically, it's absurd that you could get rid of economics, period, to me, it seems. Uh, the problem is the abuse of money and power. Uh, that is the issue, um, I think. Catalyst-journal.com. Okay. Uh, mm. So interesting. I may look at those. They're recorded in this video. But if you right click a folder and you click delete, the things are gone just like that. Now, Antics Forum and the Antics website are already in here. So we can delete this and delete. I'm happy to have the antics links here. Uh, we'll configure this browser now, actually. Let's configure this a little bit at least. Um, preferences. Now, uh, let's go, oh, first of all, Firefox being the default, that's OK. Always ask where to save files. I don't want everything to go to the downloads folder. Okay. Uh, general. Home. Home page and new windows. So for this, let's do, uh, how about Swiss cows? Rather than... Um, And we'll do Swiss cows, English. See, 
the equals e n. Now, if we close this and we open it, we're on Swiss cows. Nice. Uh, now, let's see. Preferences, search. Default search engine. No, no, no. <clears throat> Find more search engines. Put Swiss cows, English. Trying to remember how I adjusted this. Swiss cows. Okay. Um, DuckDuckGo is kind of guilty of editing their search algorithms a bit. Um, we'll put Swiss cows up at the top. So. Test. Very good. Okay, so that's Swiss cows. Um, in fact, if I put in Antis, there we go. Nice. Okay, now the other search engine we were, I, I will do one more and then we'll do some other stuff. Um, applications, internet. For Chromium, I don't want Google on there. Let's go to Quant. You see how Google looks? Quant should almost be uh, um, guilty of uh, copying Google. But that I believe they use a different, their own search al algorithm. Okay, let's go to settings. Search engine. Well, first... Let's see, search engine quant. Um, I may set a keyword later.
Oh, it has the Debian stuff up here. At Quantachrome. I'll add the quant extension up here. Settings, search, make default. All right, let's uh, let's see. Applications, Internet, Chromium, now why it, let's remove that extension. Try this again. Internet Chromium test. Okay. Notice the top ones are always advertisements. You'll have to go down a little bit. All right, back to Firefox, the default browser. Now, you can add folders up on the bar here. So, new folder. Uh, we'll call this um, call this internet. Um, folder. We'll call this politics. I can put my own political stuff up there. And uh, <clears throat> what else do we want to put here? And we'll stick one that says um, we'll just call it software. Linux. Etc. So anti antics Linux can go in there. I'm getting started to the end here. See now it's a subfolder. New folder. Um, we'll just call it Linux. Put that in there. Notice I can drag and drop. Now, if I want to move Antics in there, which makes sense, and now Antics Linux is one of the options, which makes sense to me. And actually, let's move this to the front. All right. Now, suppose I want to add a few sites of my own now. So, for example, NeoVim. I have an interest because that's an active project with teams as opposed to the single person doing them. 
So um, very interested in NeoVim. I'll choose under the bookmarks toolbar. Um, let's put it in software for now. I'll set up a text editor section. Now, Debian.org. We'll add that to the software section. How about uh, Linux.org. That will also go under the Linux section. And uh, how about Linux from scratch? Dot org. Interested in that. It'd be cool to do a Linux from scratch using Antics uh, on, I have a drive that has Ubuntu on there that I wouldn't mind removing it. My other drive has Manjaro. I'd like to figure out a way to do that. So that would be interesting. It'd be awesome if I could build one from scratch that runs on a USB with persistence. Okay, Linux from scratch. Mm. I should also add to this tails.baum.org. I like that. I'd like some cr a little bit, some cross between tails and um, antics would be nice. Okay, so that's those. For the internet, um, EFF.org. We'll add that. So I think you see how this works. Do I need, should I do all these on here? Uh, um, also, edri.org. We'll add that. How about Tor Project? Oh, did I did I put those in internet? I hope I was I put those in internet. I'll move them later if I didn't. Um oh yeah. So the free software foundation. We will put that in internet as well. Mm. Now for politics, let's go to Substack. How about Glenn Greenwald? Put that in politics. Um, 
Edward Snowden. We'll add that to politics. And um, I'll put one more in there. Barry Weiss. And we will add that to politics. Now, is there anything else I need to do? We did the search. We have Swiss cows there. Privacy and security. Um, I'll mess with this, most of this later. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. And that you'll notice if I bring up the bookmarks, um, show all bookmarks. Oh, this needs to go to internet. You can adjust them here too. You see, Did I remove EDRI? This needs to go here. Okay. And that's another way you can fix your settings. Very good. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped you. This essentially depoliticizes um, antics and puts in your own stuff. And so now it's no problem.